Hi everyone, it's Rich. I just want to give you a quick demo of assignment two. Your content management system have had several questions about how this should work. So I've built out a little sample application for you um, to show you how this works. So here's my uh, site control panel. If I go to the control panel, I have the ability to manage my administrator. So this is what you're doing for part one. So I have the ability to edit, delete administrators as well as I have the register page. The content management part, there's two pieces. The first one is the ability to create pages. So in my site control panel, I have the ability to add, edit, and delete pages. Keep in mind, these aren't physical files. These are just records in my database in a pages table. So if I want to go in and actually, let's take a look. We'll take a look for a minute at what the public website looks like. So this is what the admin side will look like when we're done. Here's my public website. So I'm not logged in. I have a logo at the top. I have all of these links. So notice these are the same links as I have in my control panel. I've got an ID number here. So I've got contact, location, home, about, and services. And in my public site, this is what I have in my nav bar, as well as my login and register. Okay. So if I want to add a new web page, in my control panel, I click add page, put in put in some content. And when I save that to the database in my admin side, admin, it now shows up in my list. So when I jump back to my public side and reload my home page. Notice now I automatically have a link to demo page. So just like my page names on my admin table are listed dynamically, the page names are listed dynamically in my navigation bar. So you'll need to use a loop to dynamically print out these names. And you'll notice down in the status bar in the bottom left as I move from one link to another, they all go to default.php, but the page ID is changing. So now my new page is page ID 22. When I click it, there's the content that I entered into my database. So I haven't created a physical page called demo page. I've just created a new record in my database in the pages table. Now, if I want to change the content, let's say it's not 9.48 PM anymore, I will go back. I can edit my content. I'm going to put in new content. So again, the idea here is we're building this website, giving it to someone who doesn't know anything about web development and allowing them to manage their own content. Whenever they want to update their website, they can do it themselves through the control panel rather than calling us and having us have to perform the update. So I'll save this update. And now on the public website, if I click this again, you'll notice my content changes. So this is really the purpose of content management system that users can add new pages, manage their navigation, and add and enter content. Now let's say this page is no longer relevant. I wanna go back to my control panel and I'm gonna delete this page with a confirmation. The page goes away from my control panel and if I go back to my public page, notice my demo page is gone, that record's been deleted. So really what we're building, some of you have heard of content management systems like Drupal, Joomla, WordPress, which is probably the most common one. We're really building our own version of this. So the main functionality here is this ability to manage the navigation and content. Now, the other thing we need to be able to do is allow users to upload a site logo. So this is actually an image here. So what I want to be able to do, what we want our users to be able to do is to change that logo. So here's how I'm going to evaluate yours. I'm going to browse, pick a different JPEG. I'll just pick this one, which I think is the PHP logo. And when I upload it, this logo should get replaced in my header. So this file is going to be dynamic. When I click upload, and now if I refresh this page, Notice now the logo has been changed. It doesn't look very good, so now I'm going to put it back. So go back to my logo page, browse, put my original logo back. 
and now my logo's back. So this is how I'm going to evaluate. Basically, the demo I've just showed you, this is exactly what I'm going to try when I'm evaluating your part two. Can I log in? Can I create a page? And when I create a page, does that new page show up in my public website? When I click on that page name, do I get the content? Can I then go in and edit the content, save those changes, and delete the page? Then the last thing I want to make sure is that I can upload a new logo and have the logo replaced here. Okay, so this is really a demo of, I don't want your application to look like mine. I've just used a little bit of bootstrap. Um, you know, I want you to make your, make your site your own, but this is really what I'm looking for.